At the age of 16, I said my first actual sentence, which was, Mom, I needed a hug after I was bullied. <coughs> so you said your first sentence when you were 16. And after that, was communication easier for you? Harder for you? A little. It was much easier, but I still didn't have the emotional structure as well. I was just beginning to come into a world of my own. As far as, according to Autism Society of America was concerned, no one had ever ran for a political office before with autism spectrum disorders. Do you hope to run for political office again at some point? Maybe, but as but I don't think that would be in my fortuna for the future for right now. My future is to be an activist to fight for inclusiveness. I love any kind of music. I like karaoke as well. And basically anything I really think under the sun. What's your go-to karaoke song? My go-to karaoke song? I am a 60s fella. Sometimes I like uh, a little um, Frank Sinatra in particular. New York State Mind. Maybe, uh, maybe, but also fly me to the moon, let me play among the stars. One more face, one more face. <laughs> let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. You have a good singing voice. Thanks, I did like nine seasons in opera, like I told the people this morning at the conference. Don't be afraid to speak out for yourself. Try to say from your heart what you feel, because we're all regular people. I mean, just because we have autism doesn't mean we can still live a normal, happy life. But we can live happy, normal lives, like regular people. And we, and we are truly leaders of change. I don't want you to think that we're anything less than that. Hey everyone, Gary Magro here from A Special Community. I can't thank you enough for watching this video. And if you like this video, please click on some of the more videos around our YouTube page. We are just trying to give a voice to countless people in our neurodiverse community. So please, if you can, subscribe to our video page. And then you'll also get to see a little bit more about my story from nonverbal autism to today being a professional speaker. Thanks so much, y'all.